Hello, how's it going? So as you probably know, this is NHL 94, one of the best games of Sega Genesis, an absolute classic, and the first game I own on that console. Also, this is probably the most influential hockey game ever made. So what you see here is a model uh, I trained for over 6.5 hours 30 million time steps it's on my rtx uh, 2060 super as you can see it's um it still has trouble to score even after all this training so typically a sports game like this is pretty hard for ai because the goals are are, are rare and if you have no prior concept of the game itself it's pretty hard to figure out how to score your uh, goals. So the learning process is absolutely very, very slow. So one of the solutions I, I was thinking is to uh, divide the, the, the reward and uh, divide the task into sub goals. So basically I give a reward for a shooting and uh, also I gave a reward for a passing, successful passing between teammates and uh, other rewards are going to see later so first there's a nice feature in this game uh, if we start the integration tool there's game stats so the game re uh, records the game stats for both teams like the score, shots, uh, shooting percentage, breakaways, one-timers, penalty shots, face-off one, body checks, penalties, attack zone, the time you each team uh, spend it to the, uh, the attack zone, and the passing percentage, so number of passes and the number of uh, successful uh, passes. So I don't use exactly all these, but many of them. So I integrated, uh, I found the address and RAM of all these uh, variables. And if we check the reward function, I give a reward for every time the, the AI won a face off and also I give a penalty every time the opposing team is in the, the defense zone, so in their attack zone. So this basically encouraged the AI to get, out, get the puck out of the defense, defense zone uh, as soon as possible. I also give rewards for body checks and uh, also give a penalty of course for the when the opponent scores a goal. I give reward for one timers. One timers is like when you pass the puck and you slap and the, the to a teammate and the uh, this teammate uh, immediately uh, does a snapshot to the to the net. Uh, I give a reward for a successful passing. So not just passing, but when when the, the, the pass was successful, the teammate received the puck, I give a reward. Uh, failed passing, I don't give a reward. Of course, I give a reward for uh, scores, when he scores a goal, and uh, I give a penalty when the opponent shots to the, the net. So this is encourage the defense to, um, to try to block the shots. Uh, and last but not least, I give a reward for uh, for shots. So be, because if you want to score a goal, you have to, to shot as many times as possible. Doesn't measure the quality of the shot, which is a problem because sometimes it shoots uh, it shoots from the the other end of the of the rink. Also, I end after the first period. The, the end condition is because the team the teams flip sides and uh, this is my this might confuse the AI if the the team flips sides so uh, so for now I just um, I just restart the the session after the the first period so this is all the the, the variables you can see here So even after all this, the results 
is uh, it's not very good. It's successfully prevents the opponent from scoring many goals. So the Quebec Nordic team has trouble scoring more than two or three goals usually, if at all. So in this case, you know, like uh, didn't score a goal in the period. The first period is ending soon. Uh, so that's good, but uh, the Montreal uh, Canadiens Montreal has trouble scoring at all. So the AI has trouble scoring. Uh, I didn't. I think I, I didn't see it score once. Uh, so even if I adjust the the rewards, I tweak the rewards. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it score easily i'm gonna have to uh, probably resort to imitation learning so play myself and give examples or uh, also give smaller scenarios where they're uh, in front of the goalie the, the session starts already in front of the goalie and uh, give multiple scoring scenarios so that's that's uh, other ideas so the, the end goal of all this is that um, uh, since there's uh, there's uh, many tournaments made uh, to this day with this game still after um, over 25 years uh, I was thinking of doing the same but with AI so some sort of AI playoffs but for that it needs to be able to uh, people need to be able to, to train their AI in a reasonable amount of time and uh, decent enough to score a few goals otherwise uh, it's going to be pointless so that's what i'm testing now i'm trying to find a way to that uh, we can train an ai to that in a reasonable amount of time oh you see it's just score a goal so basically yeah you can, cannot score more than one two or three goals so at least it's good defensively but for offense it really needs improvements so in the next uh this fall i'm going to try uh, imitation learning and uh, give it some smaller scenarios to work with and uh, and hope that uh, the AI will improve this way so please tell me what uh, what you think about this all this and if you have questions please ask in the comment section down below and uh, that's it thank you